So plans may have changed. So we might not be going to DC. I might be going to the where they store all the space stuff. But we'll see because we're not sure. And I'll tell you guys when we're there. So, um, yeah. But the other option would be where they store the space shuttle and a bunch of other plans. So yeah, we'll just see what happens then. Ready? There we go. I'm all ready to go. So yeah, today we're gonna go see the space museum, and yeah, that'll be that'll be nice. We're here. Look at that. That's a huge building behind me. It's crazy. Let me go look at some stuff. Yeah, that tower looks like it's about to fall over. This is a really awesome. Look how big this exhibit is. It goes all the way down there. And it's got this like grand entrance and everything. And that's not even all of it. We've got a whole sculptures down here and stuff. So excited. We're gonna look at some stuff. I think the Enola Gay also is here, which is the bomb that which is the plane that dropped the one of the nuclear bombs in World War II. So, lots of historic stuff. There's all these people who have dedicated their passion for flight here. I did say this was where they had the space stuff, but it's actually a space shuttle they have here, and then a bunch of other planes. So it's really just flight and everything else that you need to look at. Throw it up to the observation deck, and it really gives you an idea of how big this hangar is. It was all the way around, it's a 360 observation deck looking at the Dallas airport. These views are insane. Look at this museum, it is huge. There's planes everywhere. What is that? Look at that research aircraft. That's like. There's literally hundreds of planes here, and the space shuttle. These are, this is a map of all the planes. Jeez. There's one of my personal favorites right there. It's a Blackbird. It's pretty nice. It looks like the X-Men planes. This museum is so awesome because everything here is free. And I just did a space shuttle flight simulator and a plane flight simulator. It was really awesome. I definitely recommend it. And there's so many planes here. We're about to go see the space shuttle in a second. So I'll show you that when we get there. Look at this right here. This is a Messerschmitt like the very first Iron Man suit kind of thing where it's all beat up and it's all you know just kind of getting it tested it doesn't tail us so it's a World War II Nazi Germany plane nice oh my goodness look how big this stuff is oh my gosh no wonder they use a bunker to store some of this stuff this stuff is huge look at this what the heck so cool all right this is a uh, model in a plane exhibit. I'm close encounters the third kind. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like they have real and fictional planes here. So this thing here right behind me, basically it's a quarantine unit because right after the astronauts returned from the moon, they didn't want to spread any stuff that they got from the moon, any possible things that could spread disease to other people. So they quarantined them for 65 hours. So that's pretty cool. It's interesting. There's so much stuff here. A better section of rockets and missiles, boys. Look at this, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this stuff is crazy, guys. That's unreal, unreal, look at this stuff. Oh my goodness, so cool. And there's so many of them. 
Alright, so you may be saying, oh look, that's like a plane, right? Well, it's not a plane. Actually, what it is, is it's a bomb or a missile, which looks like a plane, and it's a guided missile, and it was made by Germany, and basically they just fly down and bomb people. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Some of the stuff here though. Seriously, what is that? What is that so big? Actually, the first operational guided ballistic missile. It's the corporal missile. It's huge. It has a range of 75 miles, guys. Crazy. All right, this next missile has wood wings. Oh my goodness, this stuff's crazy. It's just so much stuff here. This is one smaller room, and it's filled with a lot of things. There's so many missiles and rockets, and there's so many space planes here. It's insane, but now I'm going to take you to the Discovery the main event, if you will. Here it is, guys, the first and only space shuttle Discovery. Look how big this is. That's unreal, unreal. It's nowhere justifies the little action figuring things that you get of a space shuttle. I want to see comparison. I'll get as close as I can. Ready? It looks that's how big it is like oh, let's just go look some of the stats really quick it's 122 feet long wingspan of 78 feet 50 feet high insane i cannot believe that this is like a thing of course a lot of that's probably to store fuel and that kind of thing and then the rest is passengers and the goods that they have to deliver and bring back if we go above the space shuttle there's a solar sailor um satellite that's really cool and then there's this thing don't even know what that is. Let's go check it out. It's the homing overlay experiment test vehicle. It's an anti-ballistic missile test vehicle. That's just so weird. That's pretty cool. This stuff is awesome. 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 And this space shuttle is only like one of seven, I think. Uh, I think two of them blew up, I think. So uh, this is the only ones that are existing. But still, that's it's huge. If they built seven of these... That's, that's way too many space shuttles, man. Way too many. This is all the space shuttle stuff. We walk along. Just back here. I'm not gonna vlog a whole lot more of this museum, but it is really cool. We send a lot of things. This water boat, this water aircraft. There's a lot of stuff here. Here's that water aircraft. So basically right here, this boat part, you can land on the water, and then you can just take off on water as well. You can also land on the ground because of the wheels. Then we've got some more planes. So I'm about to head into the flight simulator in a second, but really quickly, I was going to go check out the left wing, because I haven't been to the left wing yet. Um, I'll show you, it's over here, we got, oh my goodness, these planes are so cool. There's so many planes here. Here, look, one second. Look at that. Hometown Berlin, there you go. I'm sure this is one of the first international flying planes, that's crazy, airframes, nice. Yeah, there's a helicopter plane, this is what we saw on the way here. Except that one was black and definitely government related. But I wish I could see the rest of this and I, I've seen that basically everything, there's some crazy stuff that's everywhere. There's hundreds of air vehicles here and space vehicles. But I'm gonna head over to the flight simulator now and get on that. Right there, that's the Red Bull thing, that's what the people dive out of from the edge of space on. That flight simulator right there, she's so shiny. I'm not gonna film the inside, but I'll give you a rating on how good it was. So I just got out of the flight simulator. It was pretty cool. Um, it was decent, it was decent. I would recommend checking it out at least once. But now I'm gonna go see the Enola Gay before I have to take off, which was the plane that dropped down the bomb. So I'm gonna go find that and show you guys. This is kind of silly, but I thought this was the Enola Gay. But this is the Enola Gay. It's a huge plane in the center of everything. I ended up having to walk around the entire thing to try and find it, and it was in the middle the whole time. Good job. Yeah, if you're, you don't want to smoke within 100 feet of a bomb carrying plane, that'd be disastrous. Plane's wings go all the way there. Hundreds of feet. Really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a big piece of our nation's history. Um, maybe not, you know, a great piece, but it's a big piece of it very significant and I think that's probably gonna end off my time here and yeah we'll see if I go to the trampoline park tonight we'll see um but yeah that's gonna end up my time here and I'll have I wish I could see the other planes this place is awesome there's so many planes here there's literally hundreds of aerial vehicles so I'd definitely check it out and also check out the space shuttle of course it's so awesome to see and I'll uh, see you guys in a second Delicious.
Now we're up here, we're at a battlefield in Manassas. It's called the Battle of Bull Run. Pretty cool. We're gonna go check out some stuff. I'll bring you along. So this battlefield, there were two battles here. There's the Battle of Bull Run, and then there's another battle. I'm gonna go find out what that is. But there's a house over here. I'm gonna walk over to it. Also, I forgot to mention that at the Air Museum, um, the flight museum with spaceships and stuff, um, I got a shirt, a Boeing shirt. I'll probably put that in one of my videos probably tomorrow, so you'll see that. And uh, yeah, let's head over to this house and some of these cannons. Look at these over here. Genuine Civil War cannons. It's a famous last view right there. If you're looking at some of these cannons. There's a house over there we're going to head over to. But you're looking down a cannon and then boom, your face gets fired off. Ow. So apparently this is where Jackson got the nickname Stonewall. Stonewall Jackson, pretty cool. I'm still making my way over to the house, looking at some of these cannons and stuff, reading some of the history. It's really interesting. There's a lot of things here. Definitely check it out if you're out here. Pretty cool. All right, kind of windy, but made it over here to this house. There's a tree right in front of the house, and it's dead, of course. The Hanks tree. Wait, why am I thinking the trees are dying? Here's a. Uh, this is a honoring the dead um, battlefield plaque. This house right behind me, but you'll see right there. It's a little memorial to honor the dead. Let's go check out what the house said. So this house right here was owned by a uh, just someone who lived out here. This was their farmland where the battle took place. And yeah, they died I think, and then the house was all torn down from shells and well, not shells, but artillery. And so now they've rebuilt it, which is really nice. Yeah, here's what the house looked like after the battle, post-war. Right here, as you can see, here's the wife, Judith Henry, I think. This is their grave. It's crazy. This is pretty cool. And then they got a bunch of barricades that are still set up here. Really cool. So that's the house back over here. We're going to walk on over this uh, statue over here and then a little sign. So let's go check it out. Over here is a monument to... The first confederate officer to die on the field and he was wounded September 16th, 1816. It's pretty interesting. Then over here is a uh, monument. I'm going to go over there and check that out. Yep, there it is. It's a memorial to Jackson. First battle in Manassas, July 21st. And there it is. Three stands of Jackson, like a stone wall of his line. Nice, nice. Really cool battlefield. Then there happens to be a third monument to General Bernard Elliott B. He's a uh, South commander, another one who was killed right here. So here's General Bernard Elliott B. He's dying. He yells, there's Jackson standing like a stone wall. Routley, go kill those Union people over there. Confederates over here, they all run over, kill them, and yeah, that, that's pretty much how it went down, exactly. Alright, that was the um, Manassas Battlefield, uh, the, bat the first battle they had there. Um, it's really cool, I would definitely check it out if you're interested in history at all, or even if you're not, it's a pretty nice place. Uh, 15,000 people died here, so it's really historic. But I want to go over to the uh, Stone Bridge from the second battle, and then we will probably end the vlog. Alright, I'm going to magically transport it from here. Here we are. Welcome to the bridge, the stone bridge, guys. This bridge is basically when the Union retreated because they lost the battle. General Lee said, screw this, blew up the bridge after they all retreated so the Confederates couldn't follow them across the river because as you can see, there is a river. Yeah, and it's kind of inconvenient to follow them and then kill them all the way back to Washington, D.C. So they just let them be. And then the Union planned for the rest of the war. All right, that's going to wrap up. Um, the day one of part two well, it's day three it's day three day three sam vlogs um in dc and it really today was the same in history down at the battlefield uh we went to stone bridge the end of it and uh yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap up today and i'll see you guys tomorrow